This is my eight-year-old son, Ezra. When he was born, he weighed about eight pounds and had a 15-inch head circumference. His head grew so rapidly that our doctor ordered an ultrasound before his fontanelle closed. He was still not speaking at the age of two, so our county's birth to three services began. Typical early intervention, PT, OT, speech, education. He was diagnosed with autistic disorder about a year later after CAT scan, neurologist, endocrinologist, and geneticist ruled out many other disorders. That was in the year 2004. The actual autism diagnosis was done in short order as the boy slept. This was a coping mechanism that he had given himself. He goes to school. He's progressing in all areas of his development. He was never in intensive ABA. He was never given any alternative treatments. He's just growing up. In the summer of 2009, we found out that Ezra has a P10 gene mutation. He has what's called banyan riley Ruvalcaba syndrome. Uh, this is related to other overgrowth syndromes such as Proteus and Cowden syndrome. Uh, it features a large head, an extra large head, uh, downward slanting eyes, uh, different sorts of so far non-cancerous growth, but we do need to keep an eye out on certain things like his um, thyroid and actually even he has an increased risk of breast cancer. Um, he has a hyper laxity. He's, he's very flexible. One sign of Banyan-Riley Ruvalcaba that Ezra does not show is pectus excavatum, but I want to include that. Uh, he does have freckling on his penis, which is strongly associated with this syndrome, as well as a few lipomas, uh, sort of generally harmless fatty deposits under his skin. So now he has a diagnosis that might better explain his developmental delays and I'm not sure if that means that he no longer has an autistic disorder diagnosis but to me he's still autistic it's not something they can take away Ezra Ezra's running <laughs> Hey, <laughs> kitty!